In this video we're going to be discussing how to do an index cut. Uh, and I'm going to show you a small example. So this would be if you say you had a 4x4 four four table and you wanted to cut something that was 8 feet long. So we're here in uh, solid edge. I've set up my grid. I got my spacing set to inches. Everything's set up correctly and I've imported my image. So the first thing we need to do okay is align it so it is up against these two lines so it's nice and referenced so the first thing I'm gonna do is go over here and then draw a line basically from the furthest point down and I'm just gonna draw it straight up now this line is gonna give me a nice reference point that will allow me to move the entire object so I'm going to go over and select all and I'm going to go to move and now I'm going to click on the end of this line right here and I'm going to move it to there okay so now you're going to want to cut out your line to you used to do that so um, basically now we have to do the same thing over here. So we got to figure out what's the furthest point from here, and then we're going to draw a line from there. And again, select all. and do a move from the end of the line to the end of this line and so now we've moved our part over and so we're referenced down here and over here I'm going to select that and cut it out so now I have to decide where my part is going to be okay for this particular one I'm simply going to go 10 inches up and what I'm going to do is basically just draw a rectangle off this corner here and so I'm just going to make it 10 inches um, tall and you can make whatever width you want but I'm simply going to use this as a reference line I could have just drawn a line if I wanted to too so because basically all I need is this line right here so in fact I can cut those out so what's important is you do have to recognize this is 10 inches up and you have to know that measurement that will be important later so now we have to split this object right here at this line so if I go over you can see I have lines that cross this unit and so if I simply um, if I don't split these lines I won't be able to have a clean parting line so to do that we're gonna go up to the split tool right here so basically the first thing it's asking down here it says click on an element to split so I want to split this line right here and I'm going to split it at the intersection with this line okay and I keep doing the same thing picking the lines to split and splitting them at the intersection with this line now in this one where I split it was pretty good we only have just a few intersections so I'm going to split it right there so now if I go over you can see my line has been split same with over here so now I can go and select basically draw a box 
just barely include that line and everything should be split right at that parting line so now what I can do is do a move what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate these by one inch okay that'll make it simpler matching up your part but you'll have to have a known distance here so what I can do is I can move with all everything selected the end of this line and it'll snap up one inch oops I did not mean to cut that but now I can select this line and cut it out and so now my part's been split and a line down here and I know that I have 10 inches to here and this is actually 11 inches okay so this is what we're going to be we're going to basically set this up in sheet cam so that it cuts this part and then a second file to cut the top part and so in between the two operations basically I am going to slide my plate exactly 11 inches and then in mock I am going to while well, this is all while after this part has been cut my machines move back to my zero point down here I'll slide my plate exactly 11 inches but what I'm gonna do is type in 10 inches into the Y axis so that the machine will think it's up here and it will begin cutting properly so now we're going to move on to sheet cam and talk about what you need to do to set this up properly there so now we're in sheet cam and I have imported my file in so as you can see we have open lines around here and then one two closed lines which is way the way it should be so the first thing we're going to do is go into the edit contours mode and we're going to draw a box around this top half and I am going to move to layer new layer I'm going to name it second cut Okay. so now I have two layers this will be the first cut this will be the second cut so now I can go back and generate my cut so the first thing I need to think about is what offset do I want now because this is an inside cut yet it's red I need to set this to an inside offset otherwise this will be cut on the outside same for this okay and I'm gonna pick the zero layer which is my first cut and this is important offset open pass and lead-ins on open pass need to be set and of course reverse cut direction so I click OK and it generates the cut now I need to figure out are my open lines being cut on the right side or not so the first thing I need to look at is this is an exterior cut and I am cutting on the exterior of this line and the same here this is that same exterior cut continued and I am on the right side of this line now I just so happen to look out she can did it right but if it wasn't what I can do is down here this is why I checked offset open paths with that option checked I can go change my start point on any one of these open paths so if I swap it to the other side of the cut now it cuts from the other side of the line now for this that's incorrect that would not be the correct side to cut so I'm going to want to set my start point over here and so looking you do have to be careful especially on detailed drawings that you make sure your lines are cutting on the right sides okay so next we're going to generate a cut for the other side now at this point you probably want to post process this first cut and save it 
I'm just gonna call it cut one and then I'm gonna change my layer and instead generate the cut for this one okay you could do this all in one cut but you have to make sure you stop it at the right spot in order to slide your material so <clears throat> now that's cutting on the right side this is on the right side this is on the right side and this is an inside cut which should be correct and so I don't have to change any of my start points I lucked out again so now I'm going to post process this I'll cut to. So now I have my two cuts and they are ready to go. So next I'm going to bring it out to the machine and we're going to be discussing what you need to do specifically on the table to make this happen correctly. recommend them for thinner gauge materials, 14 gauge and under, where high quality cuts are uh, required. precise you are with this, the less defects it will have in your cut. Now again, 
So we're at 10 inches right there. It is going to be difficult for you to get it dead on. And so therefore, that's one of the reasons that doing index cuts going to best the part as opposed to the precision part that needs exact bolts facing on. So. so. I can easily fix these with a grinder or a spot welder if I need to. So that's the basics on doing a index cut 